Hello friends, welcome to the video tutorial of WordPress WooCommerce Marketplace for product shipping. This shipping plugin allows marketplace sellers to add shipping files for each of their product from their seller panel. With the help of this plugin, a marketplace seller can add different shipping files for the same product for different countries even with the trade and pin codes. So now we move through the configuration part of this plugin. After successful installation, admin can configure this plugin under WooCommerce and Settings. Under Settings, there are various tabs available, so we need to move through the Shipping tab. Under Shipping, there is another tab named Marketplace for Product Shipping. So we need to press that button. After that, we uh, came on the page of Configuration page. So here we can configure this plugin. Uh, there are only two configurations available. First is enable or disable. If this uh, option is checked, then this uh, plugin will be available for the sellers and they are able to add shipping price for each of their product. Uh, in the second configuration, uh, the marketplace owner can provide uh, the title of the shipping. Uh, earlier it is marketplace per product shipping or they can configure it as per their requirement and that will be uh, visible on the uh, checkout page. So uh, after the configuration we need to save all the changes. So now all the settings will be saved. So we move through the uh, seller panel where a seller can able to add various shipping price for a specific product. After login, a seller will be able to add shipping price. So a seller can able to add shipping price for their products under product list. He can able to add uh, shipping price while adding a product or by adding editing an ex existing product. So uh, uh, let's say we choose this azimuth camera to uh, configure this. Over there, a seller can configure this under shipping, where it can provide weight, dimensions, and shipping class, etc. So, uh, to configure various shipping prices as per the countries or states or on the basis of pin codes, he first he needs to enable this uh, shipping per product. Then he uh, need to press insert row. To provide country code, state code, pin code, and the cost. If a seller provide only the country code, then that cost will be applicable to the whole country. So, uh, for example, we provide country code like UK, and the cost of the shipping will be uh, fifteen dollars. So, uh, we move. Uh, we need to uh, add some other countries also. Uh, configure this so here we enter US trade New York pin code one triple zero one and cost is fifteen another row US New York one triple zero two and cost is twenty so after that we press update and all the configurations will be saved for this particular product uh, we need we can configure another product also so that we can go through the process so for this uh, we move through the product list and we choose uh, another product which is chronograph watch uh, we press edit button to update the price per country and under shipping uh, first of all we enable this and there are already some countries available so let's say we configure this New York and code 1001 and cost will be 15 we insert another row which is US New York 
seven triple zero two and the cost is twenty. After that, we update the changes, and the, all the changes will be saved for this particular product. So now we move through the uh, buyer end, uh, where we see all the changes uh, of these shipping price. After login, a buyer will be able to uh, purchase product from shop. Over there, all the products will be available and we need to select product as per his requirement. So as of now, we choose the product as we earlier configured. First is Azimuth camera and the second one is chronograph watch. So we move through the view cart. Here. Uh, you can see that uh, the marketplace per product shipping uh, cost will be $30. So uh, you can see that uh, it will be calculated on the basis of country, state and pin code which are uh, already available in the default address. So from here we uh, proceed to check out. Over there we need to provide some information like first name. last name uh, phone number country which is united states and address then we need to choose uh, city which is New York and then we select straight and zip code on the basis of these information the shipping uh, will be calculated and which is $30 or now a buyer can easily place order with the help of any uh, payment method so right now it is selected at cash on delivery we press place order to place here an order uh, you can see that uh, the order will be placed successfully and uh, the shipping and payment method will be available over there so that's all for this video tutorial if you have any query or suggestion you can uh, mail us at support at webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at uh, webcool.uvdesk.com uh, thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more updates thank you